Real world science has a funny way of parroting science fiction. Like when cell phones came out. What do they remind you of? Captain's log, stardate 3624-36. I've beamed down to the surface and I'm surrounded by beautiful alien women. Note to Uhura, jam all communications. <laughs> I mean it, Uhura, stop calling. No feather fan dance you've ever done is half as good as this. Cook out. Sometimes we seem to shape our own technological future. Somebody thinks something up, it's really cool, and then years later, there it is. And some of the most unbelievable parts of science fiction is the medical stuff. The away teams had all of their bones removed. I'll have to have bones put them back. Cook out. Spine snapped in half, leg missing, brain exploded, no problem. We'll just grow you a new one. Yeah, right, like we'll ever be able to do that. It's not quite so far-fetched as you think. On April 30th, 2008, the BBC released an article on a man who did just that. Not a new spine or a new brain, but he grew a finger back. Well, not a whole finger, but like part of one. It's just the tip. What? You gotta start somewhere. Lucky for Lee Spivak, his brother works in regenerative medicine at the University of Pittsburgh, and he got to try out a special powder that grew his fingertip back. You see, it's always who you know. The alien women are fascinated by me. I didn't realize organ harvesting was part of their tradition. I need a few new kidneys. The healing process took about four weeks for him to get his finger back and about four months for him to get the nail and his fingerprint. But why? Why do I have to come back for the transplant? Can't you just beam it into me? The powder's an extracellular matrix taken from the inside of a pig's bladder. Yeah, I know, it sounds creepy. Once the cells themselves are washed out of the structure, it's dried and powdered. When applied to a wound, it stimulates the cells around it to regrow the missing portion. And these guys aren't the only ones doing amazing things. The University of Minnesota has a project using a similar approach. They took a rat's heart, washed out the cells, leaving a gelatin-like matrix or structure of a heart, and then they inserted heart cells back into it. They gave it time, stimulated it with electricity, and there it was, a beating rat's heart. That's cool. Guess they can regrow me something. They're currently working on performing the same process with a pig's heart, but all this technology is in the experimental stage. So what does this mean? Well, if things go well, you could theoretically regrow organs with your own genetic material. No worrying about type matching, no worrying about rejection, because it's a heart just like yours, or a kidney like yours, or a liver like yours, or a pancreas like yours, or maybe lungs like yours. I don't know, maybe even eyes like yours, anything. Are there side effects? Well, I'm sure there will be. In the case of Lee's finger, they've already found one. He has to clip the nail much more often than normal because it grows too fast. I'm afraid crewman red shirt is dead. Have bones grow me a new one. Star date, haven't had one in a while. I'm sending the away team down for supplies.